Kinshasa mission covers um, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, half of that. The other half is the Lubumbashi mission. It also covers the Republic of the Congo, which has Brazzaville. It covers Cameroon, Gabon, and also Central African Republic. And Gabon actually just opened up to white missionaries, or actually missionaries in general. Um, so there are uh, some missionaries serving there. That's, that's very recent, just in the last couple months. Um, I never saw the mission home. It's in Kinshasa, and we weren't allowed to go there. Uh, that's where the mission president and all the office couples serve. Um, so we never actually got the chance to go to the mission home. I never saw it. Um, there are three countries, or actually, or four, four cities that you can serve in now. There's Libreville, Gabon, which is newly opened. There's two in Cameroon, Douala and Yaoundé, and then Point Noir in uh, Republic of the Congo. Uh, generally, there's like 24 to, to 30 North American missionaries there. About 120 natives um, from Africa, but they generally stay in Kinshasa and Brazzaville. Really, um, only when there's there's lack of the North American missionaries do they actually come and serve in the outlying countries. So uh, we, sometimes we felt a little bit forgotten. It took me. Um, probably took me five five months before I actually met my mission president face to face maybe four months it was it was quite some time just because there was a um, there's a little bit of a um, unrest in Kinshasa so they were evacuated to South Africa for a few months so that was that was interesting it took me a while to meet him he came around they usually come around once every other transfer maybe is when you get to see the mission president and and talk to him. So you really rely on the couple missionaries that serve there. Um, and generally they don't speak French, which can can be problematic, but it's amazing what they can do without speaking the language. It was it was incredible. They they oh, they did everything for us. And sometimes we get a phone call saying, Hey, could you talk to this person for me? <laughs> they pass the phone over to this this African like, Yeah, this is what he wants. <laughs> Just to translate for him, um, the mission is uh, the Congolese Congolese people are super nice, super generous, but extremely poor. They have basically nothing. The agriculture in the country isn't very developed, and so um, fruit was small and expensive. Food was small quantities and expensive. Uh, they had they had tons of chickens, chickens everywhere, just running around. So that was really cheap. But uh, everything else was pretty, pretty pricey. You could buy uh, like three bananas like this size for a dollar. But in Cameroon, you could buy 20 bananas this size for a dollar. So Cameroon is very agriculturally developed and, and they have uh, oh, the best fruit. Bananas, mangoes, pineapples, and papayas. Oh my goodness. They just have... Oh, huge quantities of everything and it all tastes delicious.